What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be purchasing our first Ferrari and I'm pretty excited about it. So this is going to be a 2015 of 488 GTB. It's a, uh, a level 304 here stock and it's going to run us about $224,000. My goodness, that is a, uh, that's a pretty penny there. We're going to go ahead and use our new car and let's see how she is right out of the gate. Pretty sexy, pretty classy. I mean, Ferrari, you just, you can't go wrong, dude. You know, obviously when you're you're thinking supercars, everybody thinks Ferrari and Lambo. Lambo's a little louder, they're a little, you know, flashier, a little showier. Ferrari is, is still flashy and showy and loud, but they're a little more, a little more classy in my opinion, I think. I, I don't know, out of the two of them, I don't know what I would ever choose. But uh, hopefully one day at some point I'll be able to make that choice. I don't think we're quite there yet. But um, anyway, we are going to go ahead and head back to the garage. Sorry to cut off this random cutscene that doesn't really mean anything. And uh, let's customize this thing. Now here's the thing, guys. I've been grinding. I intend for this series to continue us throughout this year and probably into next year. You guys can see we've got $19 million in the bank account right now. And check this out. If we go into our performance parts, I've actually gone through and I've beaten some of those like super high tier elite wanted level races. And uh, we have ultimate plus parts now across the board, which is really, really exciting. So we are about to do some damage on this thing. Now, like I said, it's a 304 stock. So let's come in here. We are going to spend $31,000 on this crankshaft. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Then we're going to go $31,000 on the ECU. Now here's the thing. I saw a comment. I'm pretty sure once we buy these Elite or Ultimate Plus, whatever you want to call it, parts for this Ferrari, I think when we're done with it and we move on to the next car, I think we can take them off the Ferrari and put them on that next car, which could ultimately save us a lot of money and then therefore most of that 19 million is going to go towards buying cars. But let me see what's our best option here. Dual Turbo is going to take us to a level 400 plus. So we're, we're going to go for it. Oh my goodness, dude. For nitrous, what do you guys think? Do we want a 15 pound tank or five three pound tanks? I feel like the three pound tanks are, are smarter. I feel like we're gonna be able to get more use out of those. I'm gonna put the showcase suspension on there. You guys know I do like a little bit of slide in my cars. It's a little more meant for drift, but I, I, I like having some slide in there. So we're gonna go for the, uh, the, the showcase for the tires. I think I'm gonna go for some elite on road tires. And uh, apart from that, I mean, I guess we can go elite plus on our clutch. That's gonna improve our top speed. We can go Elite Plus on our transmission, but that's not really gonna change anything, so I'm gonna leave it as is. And then for our differential, I'm gonna go with the, uh, I'm gonna say, let's let's go track differential. Auxiliary one, I think I'm gonna go with the, uh, the nitrous refill. That looks pretty good to me. And then Aux two, what do you guys wanna do for this? I'm gonna say nitrous power as well. So we're gonna go all out speed here, dude. This thing is gonna be nuts. Four. 100 plus level this thing looks absolutely insane is there a way we could see the actual stats and like how much horsepower this thing has right here in the engine swap screen 1157 horsepower you cannot be serious right now i mean rounding up that's 1200 horsepower that is absolutely ridiculous a 1200 horsepower ferrari 488 We've made it, boys. This is going to be absolutely insane. So I'm going to go into customization. Let's check out some community wraps first, see what we're working with. So we've got an all white with the Italian stripe down the middle. That actually looks pretty clean, pretty nice. I do like the red here with the white stripe. I really like this gray. This gray looks pretty sexy. Oh, that's actually carbon fiber. Oh, no, it's it's normal gray. The carbon fiber didn't look bad either. We've got the gray with the uh, the, the Italian stripe here. What else are we, we working with? We've got a blue. That blue looks pretty nice. All right, not too bad. I think I know what I want to do. I think I'm, I'm going to take the Italian stripe here, and we're going to actually end up changing the color. So we've, we've downloaded and applied it. Now we're going to change the paint color, and I think I'm going to go for a yellow Ferrari. I don't know why, but I've always liked yellow Ferraris. I've always thought that was a pretty color for them. So I'm going to see if we take... I'm just going to go non-metallic... I'm gonna go gloss, I'm gonna go single color, or do we want a matte? Nah, I'm gonna go gloss. I wanna make this so it's a, a little bit of a darker yellow though. I feel like that's pretty nice right there. All right, I'm, I'm good with that. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save our changes. This is our new Ferrari wrap. I don't know, man, like yellow, I know it's it's not unconventional for a Ferrari. Obviously it's not red, which is the most popular. Black is probably second. I, I've just, I've always liked yellow Ferraris. So I think that's what we're gonna go with here. So let's check out what we have for uh, for body customization. I believe this is a four out of 10, so it should have some, some decent options. Ooh, that carbon kit right there is sexy. I like that a lot. Do we have a wide body option? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna be going with a carbon body kit for sure. Let me see what we've got going on for a hood. Whoa, we've got some crazy, crazy options here. To be honest, I don't like either one of those. That might work. I kind of like stock, but I guess I guess let's do it. Why not? Looks looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and black out the, uh, the headlights. We are gonna black out a lot of the trim and stuff in this thing just because uh, I feel like it looks good with the yellow. Side skirts, ooh. See, I, I kinda like the stock, but I guess if we're going for the full body kit, we wanna have it match all the way around. Let's see what we've got going on here. Ooh, what do you guys think? I like that. That's pretty dope right there. And I'm actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to stock. I, I think, yeah, the stock looks better, without a doubt. The stock looks really good right there. Uh, rear bumper. See what we've got. Do we have something that's going to match? Oh, yeah. Look at that fat booty, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's check out our rear diffuser here. See what we're working with. We've also got to get the splitter up front. I'm going to say that I, I, I think the stock looks the best right there. Stock exhaust looks pretty solid as well. I think I'm going to leave the exhaust stock. We are definitely going to going to blacken out these uh, these taillights here. All right. Looks uh, looks good. Let me, let me get this diffuser before we forget about it. Or the splitter, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say that one right there. Let's get a little a little aggressive. Okay, that looks pretty good. Mirrors, ooh, those are actually kind of dope. I'm gonna go with the custom mirrors. Usually we don't, but those uh, those look pretty good. And now we've gotta get a huge chunky spoiler on the back. The ducktail doesn't look bad. Air performance looks pretty good. And then we've got uh, some carbon options. We've got some Voltec options, or, or Voltex, I guess it's called. I'm thinking something like that. We're gonna go big and chunky. Wheels, I think all we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint these bad boys. We're gonna paint these rims. We're gonna change it to black. Gonna put the nicer brake discs on there. And then of course, you guys already know what's coming. Let's see uh, Let's see them calipers. We are gonna go with the yellow calipers. Hopefully it matches the uh, matches the yellow pretty well. It's, it's kind of hard to get a color match going there, but it looks pretty good. You know, we've got the yellow body with the yellow Ferrari logo in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the rims, and then we've also got the, the yellow calipers. So I feel like overall this thing is, is gonna be yellow and black, like, perfectly. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's gonna look really good. I'm gonna go with Pikachu for our license plate. Oh shoot, it didn't put the P in there. Why can't I see the P? I'm gonna say Pikachu. That works better. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Pikachu license plate. I mean, this thing is kind of yellow and black. Pikachu's yellow and black, so I feel like that looks pretty good. Do we want a frame on there? I feel like the frame actually looks pretty nice. So we're gonna put the frame on there, and uh, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> this thing actually looks pretty sick. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how this turned out. So now we're gonna come into uh, to effects. Let's see our nitrous color. Shoot, we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any yellow. Tire smoke, I'm not gonna change. Underglow, we can go with the yellow. I'm not trying to get the flashy step colors though. I'm just trying to go straight yellow. I guess lime is gonna be our best option, so we can go with lime. Air suspension, do we want an air suspension on there? I guess, $15,000, why not? Let's go into our stance, and we are gonna go ahead and lower this bad boy. Not too much, but a little bit. And then now exhaust and sound. Let's listen up. Sounds pretty good. I feel like we usually do the same thing for the exhaust. We make it a little bit more raw, a little bit, you know, more aggressive, and we just kind of roll with it. But um, there it is, man. That is our new baby. I feel like she turned out absolutely fantastic. It's not necessarily a conventional Ferrari look, but uh, it definitely, definitely, you know, it, it talks the talk and walks the walk. This thing's going to be awesome. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the rear end of this thing, especially the bottom. That diffuser mixed with, I don't even know what to call it, but the corners behind the wheels where we have these vertical, vertical slats that are, are hollow that I can only imagine how many like rocks and 
dirt and dust and stuff gets kicked up into those things. This thing is gnarly. Oh, I'm so excited to use it. So here we go. We've got the Raptor Circuit Race. We are going to be starting off with something light. It's only a level 340, but I figured we could check it out and see what's going on. This thing is nasty. This thing is absolutely disgusting. I love it. And every sense of it. You know what I mean? Like, this thing just looks so good. It sounds good. Old Pikachu, dude. He didn't let us down. Let's see if he can take down a raptor. We've got some vipers out here, too. Some Arbox. Let's get it. That's a bit of a throwback. A lot of you guys were asking if I was going to play Sword and Shield on the channel. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm tempted to. I really want to. I feel like it'd be interesting, but... I think I may just play it on my own. I, I don't think I know enough about Pokemon anymore to, to make an entertaining Let's Play. Things have just changed so much, dude. I, I quit many generations ago. So, I don't know. We'll see, but for right now, I'm just enjoying this beauty, man. This is, this is the only Pikachu that I need. Woo! Dude, this thing feels so good. We haven't even hit a barrier yet. That's like unheard of in this Let's Play. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I actually really, this is my first time using the, the quad or the this quintuple nitrous, I guess is what it would be called. Not quad, it's quintuple, right? Um, being able to have that control to be able to, to flip a, a little burst of nitrous in an area like this, where it gets you up to speed, gets you to that next corner, but it doesn't send you flying off the map. That's a, uh, that's a pretty, pretty powerful thing. Yeah, dude, this thing is, this thing is sexy. Look at this, dude. We, I mean, granted, we are 60 plus levels above the cars behind us, but this is just an absolute domination. Like, there is, there is no point in us even racing this race. It's so easy. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing out. I'm going to look and try to find something a little bit tougher. And, of course, you guys know we're going to have to take this thing to the cops. I'm curious to see how she compares in terms of top speed. She feels pretty good. This isn't really the uh, the race to test it, but overall, I love it so far. We're gonna make up our own little Ford vs. Ferrari event here. Hopefully, the Ferrari wins this time around. We are gonna be racing on the circuit. It's a level 400 race, so it should be tough. I don't know, I'm interested to see what happens here. We honestly probably could have put our, uh, our 15 pound nitrous, one canister, one and done bow the whole load type of nitrous on here but uh, we're, we're just we're gonna see what happens with this I've actually I've got a feeling that that might have been too much for this track I think having the little canisters just to be able to kind of take little bite-sized chunks of, of speed might be a, uh, a good look for us but uh, yeah dude, we're gonna put this Ferrari through its paces here some good old NASCAR racing if you guys haven't seen the Ford vs. Ferrari movie, it's super good. I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's my favorite racing movie ever, but it, it really is 100% worth a watch. I didn't really know the history of, uh, of Ford in that regard and like why the Ford GT came about and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. It's got a, a good good story America you know what I mean can't uh, can't go wrong with that Ooh, that was a that was kind of a tough hit right there so this is a level 400 race and we are still absolutely dominating the competition I I don't I don't know if all that much is gonna be able to compete with this Ferrari that's why I, I don't think we're gonna fully max out all the cars all the time I think we might leave some of them stock just so we can compete in some of the lower tier races but uh, since we We'd been on the, ooh, that thing sounds mean, that Ferrari back there. Since we had been on the grind of, uh, of unlocking these things, these things, these upgrades, I figured we could probably at least check them out for one, you know what I mean? 500 yards remaining, I'm trying to catch third. Or, oh, that's seventh. Dang it, we almost caught seventh. So we lapped, I don't even know how many people are in a race. We lapped quite a few people there. That was pretty solid. I think like four or so. Not bad, but let's take this thing underground. Let's see what the cops have to say. Pulling up on a, uh, a level 400 race. What do you guys say? Let's go ahead and flip things over to the night time. Going to introduce Pikachu to these, uh, these city streets at night, baby. The, the Spirit of Oz. Got a new, new little sprint race here. So it's going to be 52,000 rep on the line. 
And uh, man, what what are the what are the little red circles we have in the side of the car, like right in front of our rear fender? Are those like a brake light? Are they red reflectors or what? They it it I keep seeing them. And it, I think they're glowing. Yeah, they're gl those are like a brake light or like a, a just a running light, so you can see that it's there. That's kind of interesting. That's something you'd see on like the side of a semi or something. Level 400 plus race. This is going to be interesting, fellas. So, uh, in the interest of, of transparency, we have we have never won one of these in this series. Um, we got us. We, we had one where we did pretty well and we were in second place almost the entire time, and then and then we just completely failed towards the ends, and nothing went our way. So we're we're going to try to improve. Wow, we're going to try to improve upon that and not do what that guy just did. And hopefully we can end up getting our first win here. I do think this is probably the strongest car we've ever had. And honestly, the luckiest start we've ever had. With how that Pagani or whatever it was just ran right into the back of that dude. So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what we can do here, fellas. I'm pretty sure we should have... Yeah, we've got a... Got a gas station coming up here. Woo! We got a repair there. Cops are behind us. We're looking okay. They actually might help us out a little bit with our other racers. Man, we are flying, dude. So this is all it took. I, I think we were like a almost level 400 in that race that we did before. We weren't quite a 400. And I just, I, to be honest, I don't think we were ready. I don't think we, I don't think we had the vehicle for it. But something like this, dude, we are. Whew, we're good. We are absolutely smoking the competition. We just, honestly, we made it too fast. 1,200 horsepower, like there's a line and we crossed it. There is no reason for us to have a vehicle this fast. But we decided to do it, because why not? Gonna get some air, we can't control ourselves in the air. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did we slow down that much? We hit like an invisible barrier or something. We got that checkpoint though. We're good. All right, we're gonna keep on going. My goal is to just—I mean, if, if we could win this thing and, and you know get back to the safe house, that wouldn't be—that wouldn't be a bad night. Oh gosh, these things are are still pretty sketchy, and we are still gonna have to evade the cops, which is easier said than. Oh, we're actually 90% of the way done here. We're getting away from this cop. Gonna have to get out of the way of that one. And I actually, I, I think we're going to be able to do it. If you want me to be honest, I think we made a car that was too fast. I really do. Oh, that's a car. Got to watch out for that. I, I think we made a car that was significantly too fast. And I don't know that there's really a lot that's going to be able to be able to keep up with us. I think we've got to be careful about this in the future. I do want to do it for some cars. I'm actually thinking of doing, I guess, you guys want to go do this one? How long is this one? That one doesn't look too bad. We can go do this. I'm thinking about doing this with the bug. I'm thinking about fully maxing out the slug bug and just turning it into a monster like this 488 is. So I don't I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Oh shoot, we got another cop on us. We're gonna have to lose him to be able to start this next race. Shoot. We may not uh We may not be able to, to do this one. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce off to the left here. We're only a heat level three, so we shouldn't know if the cops are gonna be on. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna leave that thing behind. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We, we just gotta lose the cops. These roads are not good for a Ferrari. Oh goodness. We're gonna be okay. I believe. There's actually a. There's a garage right over here. Shoot! He caught us again. Are you kidding me? We gotta, we gotta keep going in a straight line. If we go in a straight line, we're gonna be able to use these guys or lose these guys, not use them. Nice. Escapes. I'm gonna cut through here. We're gonna try to be a sneaky little beaver and make our way back to, uh, make our way back to home base. We just barely, narrowly avoided him, man. 
Oh my goodness. I mean, we aren't really in a hunt for rep anymore, so we don't we don't need to stay out too long. And like I said, dude, this, like we're just gonna blow everything out of the water. Can I find the entrance to this, Trev? Good, good job. There you go. We're just gonna blow everything out of the water. Like we we went a little bit too hard with that upgrade. Sometimes it's tough. Sometimes it's easy. That was significantly easier. Man, that was that was a beast, dude. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you guys want to see next. You know, like I said, some cars we're gonna do this to, where we're gonna fully max them out. Some we're gonna have some fun with, like the slug bug. I think we do need to make some more uh, drifting and off-road builds because we haven't really done those in a while. And so, oh, look at that! The highest car in the game, the FXXK. We just unlocked it. We might have to check that out too. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.